Good day, how we doing next Wednesday in March? You're listening to Tipper Irie. A lot of ones don't know who names are in Jamaica, you know, but there was a time when the man had covered the whole of Europe and England with them farmer DGN. But we start out the program that we have because we have a special guest in the house, I may tell you. A long time, we want to bring him in the house, I tell you, know, and we want you look manly going up, believe you me. Persevere and persevere. We do some money go down, nah, if you really had to, hey, England, nah, if them read it tonight, as a matter of fact, believe you me, the first time, for real in Jamaica, I'm going to take it, a first time, first time, the man I go do an interview in Jamaica, after so much years, after so much years, I put in Jamaican reggae music on the map in England, we have him right in the studio, yeah, so, so you see how we start on the program? We start on the program that we are there, and we will continue that we are there. No, Papa Levi was slated for being Rebel Salute the other day, and we never see him turn up. Papa Levi, out of England, have the biggest hit, any English, I don't want to say English DJ, you know, any youth who live in England, have in a Jamaica. That DJ song, uh, broke all... Where would I call it now? Taboos. About reggae in England. DJ music in England. This tune now. Speaking of which, I know when I will come over, it's because we will say today, we will say tomorrow, and we will say next week, and the next week, and the next week. You know, we went up to GSC, Jamaica College, on Friday for taking. The Capture Land Tour, where Chronix, Chronix was the artist featured without any opening act. Place Cock Up. We hear say he was in Negril, he was in St. Elizabeth, and then we hear say he was in Portland. But we made the the jump, the, the Kingston leg of the tour. About well, two weeks ago, we did the, at San Francisco. And we was like, two days, or uh, three days, after we leave, after we reach at San Francisco, Chronics was in San Francisco. Ram up the place, ram, ram up the place. No, hear my contention now. JC, well, the concert was one of the best concerts I see any young artist put on right now in a Jamaica without any apology. All the woolly pa hype and hype and hype with the, with the no present DJ them. They, the concert was presented in such a way where it was a concert. It was a concert. We want to big up Chronics and him team for putting on such a wonderful presentation in Jamaica. In Jamaica, we are talking about. And we see Wolipa concert keeping at Jamaica. Ramadan that too, because most of them dance all through are outdoors and we must say them cock up, cock up, but the presentation, the presentation that I saw at Jamaica College, trust me man, believe you me, but there's a but now, hear the but now. You know how years we attack and attack and attack and it come like these little idiot politician people now listen to what we are saying, you know. And, but maybe them are listening, you know, but through them feel so them have other things to deal with. Come here, ones that talk about, say, an artist must do them something there, you know, and, but I say, ah, this will do them things, if artists will do it, you now, it's like a man, it's like, it's like, 
road where I fix, I tell the people them, in the community, say, them why them don't fix the road and them I use it. When you did pay taxes for politicians, for infrastructures put in place, to protect the people them, just like how oh, they never protect the people them from rivers and city. And Sister P, they put the television and talk about, we couldn't blame Jennifer because she never liked the fire. I don't understand if, if, if the Prime Minister don't understand when somebody says somebody have to take responsibility for it. And it don't mean somebody who actually got to go light the fire. I don't know if she, can somebody please explain to the Prime Minister of Jamaica when the reporter asks her if somebody is not to be, if Ed now for rule because of what happened. It's not the person who will light the fire. She had the matter about. But there are people in authority that is responsible for the well-being and the wealth of the Jamaican people and also properties that is there. And since this, the rivers and dump is a place where they've got dumb things and dumb things, there must be some things that is put in place so as not to allow every year you have fire down there, a blaze. And this one now is the worst fire. And believe you me, on the things on the feel anything yet, wait till last six months along the line when the people them start dead. What me say? Me say, on the wait till down the line when the people them start dead because of a guan last week, just like the chick V. Because I already hear about chick V's for take, take panadol and drink coconut water and go rest. And now we see people are dead. No, no. In a ninth, in a 2015 or so now, people are dead from Chick V. No, we see a whole heap of youth, hundreds of picnic, hundreds of picnic have to get it, go, go to hospital because of what happened in a river and city. And you don't see nothing yet. Me, I tell you, you know, mark my word to the hour. What to the other day? What day today is Neil? 18. Today are the 18th. Of March 2015, Minister of Health, Prime Minister, Minister of Education, who kill off a picnic them. And when we say kill off a picnic them, I don't talk like say, I me, me, me want it to happen, but it's going to happen because it's Uno, Uno kill off Jamaican people. It's like a genocide against Jamaican people, man. Chick V don't know them put up smoke up and stuff like And then the Prime Minister the on the TV and say, Oh, you going to blame Jennifer for the fire and she never got to light the fire. Can somebody please explain to the Prime Minister when you say somebody is responsible for something? It don't mean that the, the person actually go to go do this something. If you give a man a gun and the man take the gun and go shoot somebody, you are responsible for the murder also because you give the man the gun. Or you go like say somebody have a fire gun for go for go you say I him did fire the gun or him never fire the gun, therefore him not responsible. I want the Prime Minister actually look back from what she say. I want the, the Prime Minister actually look back from the clip. Come in with a CVM plate again tonight, you know. CVM plate again. She said Jennifer no biz. It's Jennifer is not responsible for the fire because it's not she got to go light the fire. So when people are talking about Ed Rule, oh you must oh, oh you must fire somebody and it's not them personally go light the fire. That's showing a lack of boy, I mean, you know what you know, so I come out for that. I come out for that come here get vexed. I don't know that me do what I talk about, you know, weird. That's that verse me play that verse. I know that me do what I talk about, you know. Me, me stray from the points. Me I talk about GSC. Now, I, time and time again, we are talking about Jamaica need a concert hall for represent the music. Like when we, as artists, go a foreign and play in a certain place, we see say the music is presented in a place that you can say, wow, good acoustics and everything. Now, the problem where I have with that GSC concert is of no falls of the promoters, no fall of the artists, but there's nowhere that Jamaican artists and Jamaican music can be presented in a way that we can say it is internationally presented. You have to figure out, figure out, figure out. 
it's a wicked thing, you know. It's a wicked thing when you have the ability to present certain things and then in a Jamaica. Look how much look how much sports center them are set up. And all every sports center in Jamaica right now is used for playing music. Which part which part the, the Jazz and Blues Festival keep? In that stadium we never make for music. The sports center, the arena, all of these players make did not make for music, yet still it's music a playing of them. So why the hell the government can't see say? Them supposed to make something for present the music. Because the music right now is the most important thing I go on for Jamaica. Not tourism. The majority of the money we make out of tourism don't come at Jamaica, don't stay at Jamaica. The majority of money we make out of music, the artists come out to and bring back the money come here. So. For come feed him, pick them family and them friend them and them girlfriend and them girlfriend friend and them girlfriend man and all them something there. It's a terrible thing. Terrible, terrible thing. Jamaica College Auditorium is not made to keep high quality concerts like Chronic's concert. And media could say should not be a part of our game because it's not like say we don't know things. We know things. We know what's supposed to look like, what things supposed to look like, what it's supposed to sound like, what it's supposed to feel like. You understand? The other day we were at Johannesburg. We're going at the theatre. Mandela. A, a theatre there where. And me just stand up on the stage and read poetry. No band, no, no. Just me one. Stand up on the stage with the audience out there. So. And if you ever see the theatre, there's no theatre in a Jamaica where look that way there. We go up a, 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 a place named Baxan University. Me once up on the stage with a microphone. When you look on the theater, man, I mean, it's like, wow, you say, but why Jamaica couldn't have a place like this just for the music? Not for, not, not, not for nothing, just for the music, Rasta. That's when all I use like chronics present the show when we see him present this all. You can't say, wow, I feel like I got a Carnegie Hall. Or like you go to Radio City. The music plays such a great, important part in a Jamaica cultural, social, and political experience. That, they might go on like this river and dump. Because I saw them angle river and dump. I saw them angle the music. When we, we, we is the ones who go out there and bring back whatsoever we earn in a Jamaica. Most away, and I say all away, but I know the most away. When we go to a tour and get to little town, town, US dollar them, we come back at Jamaica with it. Over, over, I, I am told that over 60% of the money we make at tourism don't come at Jamaica. And I, I, I can bet my bottom dollar, say, the majority of money we make off of reggae music, no care how small it is, come back at Jamaica. I don't understand how the people them go on so rest. And then look more them are talk about reggae this and reggae that and Bob Marley this and Bob Marley that. I want to deal with Rasta. They are so here to why the, why the musicians them don't come together and build it. And that them do all the while, you know. To take themselves out of the blows and skirt problem, you know. And that them do all the while to take themselves out of the problem. But we must do it. The road will fix them. So then why the community don't come together and fix the road? When well, these communities must come together and fix road. So what is the purpose of government? Who build, who build the Trilani Sports Stadium there? So who build it? I don't know if any big sportsman will come together and build it. I know you see and and all of them people that build that. Who build Sabina Park for play cricket? Who build the sports center? Who build the arena? Who build the national stadium? 
who build the stadium up at Sligoville where the only thing we play at night is music? Who build all of those things? So why, wh what is the reluctance? Are we not fight against sports? But we are saying, who build the stadium not a man to go be here? you have a nice stadium not a man to go be here, we build for sports. And you have one with a Trilani, we build for sports. The other day we perform in the one of Bantigo beer. <laughs> I tell you. No, Rasta. All the guys, all the treat, all the treat the music, so. And the artists. All the treat the music and the artists, so Rasta. I don't know what I'm Minister of Culture. Minister, Minstress. Minstress of Culture. Lisa Anna. I mean, take a stock. Look for where I go on, man. Recognize the potential. And she say, do we hear the music go here so now? We should not club off in our place to go play music. Because the same all, the same all, we acoustically set up properly. Can't keep all dancing at it though. Instead of you try to run up and down all over the place, I try to zone up place, and I try to figure out, yeah, this is a place and that the place there. Eh? You have to turn off, set a certain hour and all them something there. Like. Believe you me, man, the thing gets away, Rasta. And when we look, when we sit down in there, you know, the youth are profound for about two and a half hours. I sit down there and say, but wait. You see the sound inside us, so? The only problem with this concert, you know, is that the sound is horrible. The sound horrible in there because the place don't make for keep them kind of concert there. I enjoy the concert, but me really, I feel lament pan what happened to the music all. That's when Chronic say I'm going to present him concert. I don't know how much people in there, but the place car, the amount of people were inside it, so. Suppose you can't hold in a properly set concert all. Not like a theater, me talk about, you know. I talk about concert all. You know, say, Carib Theater used to facilitate Barry and Lee and the Dragon Lee. They used to have Sunday, um, Saturday concert tonight. And that, that acoustic was not bad acoustic. It was not bad acoustic. But right now we're living in a modern time now where really and truly you have technically good people in Jamaica. We can set. And even if you're not getting no technical people, since you love Chinese, since you love Chinese people, get copy of the Chinese people them for come show no for set up concert hall. Since you're not in, in love with Chinese people. Because I mean, no, say, really and truly, it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace that Jamaica give the world a music that is not represented properly in Jamaica, where it, where it originated from. And when you go outside there, eh, the places where reggae artists are gone, the same little reggae artist where you see I walk up and down on the road. The same little reggae artist where you could all uh, listen to him and I cuss and I say, wait, now where am I saying, now where am I doing all them something there? The places where the music is presented, unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. There's nowhere in Jamaica. Nowhere in Jamaica. I'm not talking about covered space. I'm not talking about open air space. Because you can't set up any sound and any equipment outside, out, outdoors. But we talk about concert all. Concert all. Are we not ambitious? We're not over ambitious to say like Carnegie all or like Radio City. Can we know those places? No, because we come from certain places. But we rise above certain things and we know certain places because we travel. And we see the music presented. We know about Radio City. And we know about Carnegie Hall. And we know about Box and Theatre. And many, 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 many more theatres where the music is presented in a very proper way. That you can hear the sound and the quality of the artists and the musicians them. So I don't know if I am talking to space, but can please 
Someone please hear my cry. <laughs> I am a lone sheep crying in the wilderness. Jav, what them call themselves? Jaria. Jaria. Ibu Kupa. Um, where, 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 I vex me, I get vexed now. You know, I mean, I get vexed because of the first Mr. Abu and the second time Mr. Abu did. I years. I, one time in the designated one land, you know, just north of this national stadium. Not which part they, they, them put now, the, 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 the place where Pier Soka keep, more Soka keep, you know, where them call that place again. It used to dunk parks so, uh, eh, mass camp. You know, north of the mass camp, over the other side of the road. Them they designate over the top of a bill a a a a a all you know. Yeah, them they designate the bill I don't know what happened. That time my my bridge in there, Desi Roads. I think him still is me, me, the, 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 the um Jamaica Federation of Musicians. Them I talk about build something over there. So the discussion did go to which part in a new King Sunday where them have Emancipation part there. I don't know. Some people come up and say no. With them can't go put concert all right in a day so because old Tega Rega and Vogo Vuga 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 I go full up. <laughs> I go full up the place. I would ask that about why we don't know Rasta. The people them don't like Rasta. Them don't like reggae music. I mean, them go like, yet still, it's them two force there uh, buying Jamaica with the rest of the world. If it wasn't for Rasta, you would have no Bob Marley. If it wasn't for Rasta, the music wouldn't be as potent as it is today. Through the words and the manifestation of Rasta, why the music go out there, so. And yet still, the respect where we get when we go outside of Jamaica. It's nothing to when you're there, so. When, when you're there, so, I mean, it, it's like, you know, when, when, when you read the Bible, it says, Prophet is the Lord and in his own country. And you, you, you have to sit down and I wonder, why is it that them treat the music that way? We, we understand about coming from the, the bottom of the pit. You know, ghetto people. Come here, some youth, I say, why? We hear some youth, no, I use the nurse in the tunnel, I say, if you say, I'll get to them, come from. The whole away come from ghetto. The whole away. Bob Marley, everybody. Bob Andy, Peter Tash, I mean, Alta Nellis, Delroy Wilson, all away come from ghetto. And we hear a youth ball out now, say, boy, right now, we are the voice of the ghetto, and I don't know where the ghetto. Yeah, we understand that. But yes, one of Gundy did not get off for a long time. Rip did not get off for a long time. Man, I run batch for a long time. You understand? So it's not like a new thing I go on here, so now. A man, I make money now more than ever before. You understand? And this thing get worse. And meanwhile, that I get worse over there, so the government over here, so, so I don't know where they look on. Because they couldn't look at no, because they understand that it's not no music put Jamaica upon the map. It's not, it's not because we are up now why Jamaica is upon the map. It's whether that happened then why Jamaica is upon the map. And the infusion of Rastafari in the music allow the music to spread internationally and create a vibes out there. That's when you go in any country and a man look at him, say, where you come from? Mr. Jamaica, say, oh, Bob Marley. I saw the music go. So how is it that in the land where the music originates, where everybody are trying to come at Jamaica? Imagine we are trying to go to Africa and the African are trying to come at Jamaica. You said crazy. We did there say, why Africa we want to go? Where you go Africa man? I said, well, I want to come to Jamaica. You can't take me to Jamaica. I mean, I said, where are you talking about? We want to leave Jamaica. You did there you want to come to Jamaica. That is how powerful the music is. That is how powerful the music is. So all the authorities cannot see that it is necessary to present, if you talk about Jamaica,
represent Jamaican music in such a way that it is up to international standard. Just like everything else, when they might try doing a Jamaica for put it international standard. And they say, they might talk about certain things. They say they want it to up to international standard. So all the people, eh, the, the, the music is not represented in Jamaica on an international standard. That's where all the youth like chronics get that vision there to do that. And him gather up him bridging them and him sitting them and say, come, we're going to present capture land. And you see all the lights and the sounds and the, 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 the videos and all these things come together in a one place. And then when you listen to the music, you say, Chow, how are them people are Rasta? Because the people they enjoy themselves, you know. But you have sisters where in front of me and say, the music too loud. And the man has said, no, the music not too loud. It's, it's, it's the acoustics in other place. And so the sound man was telling the sister, you know, the acoustics in other place. And then man said, boy, I don't know. And you see, because a normal little sister out there, she don't understand both acoustic and that, you know. And she listens to the music and she can't hear the man I say. So either she has said the music too loud or the man voice too low. Not understanding, say, it's not really the engineer fault, but it's the acoustic way in the place that the cars, the whole heap of craziness. So I don't know where, 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 well, maybe Jerry have it upon them, them list of things to do. But a list of things to do cannot just be celebrating one month of reggae music. But also one month of putting the music in a place that can define the music, a definitive way of presenting the music is in a concert hall that is acoustically set up for do music, not for play sports. So we we'll come after of that now. This is the cutting edge and IRFM. Okay. All right. All right. So. We tell you, so we have a special guest in the house. We have a special guest in the house, and we want to present him because this is the. We're there in a music. Reggae month still, you know. <laughs> you think so easy? I'll not march with a Black History Month. And in a march with a Reggae Month. And we're going to feature one of the, the main presenter of Jamaican music. In England, and when we say the main presenter, we actually mean the main presenter. No man in England, since I got England, there is no man in England that has presented Jamaican music like this Virginia, where we're having at the studio. So, we're going to present him. Yes, continent. This is. The cutting edge and IRFM. We have, I want to yell up all the people in England who are listening right now, because we know, say, things turn up in England, I you know, when this man here, Light Coxon, they on IRFM. The man says, the first time I interview in Jamaica, you know, say, you're going to till 2 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. You're going to till 2 o'clock. All right. You can't take it, don't you? Yeah, man. Yeah, because you play out and all the man in your play till. Till daylight, man. All right. Yeah. We have Light Coxon. In the studio. For those of you who don't know Light Coxon, but you know, so I'm not explain who are Light Coxon. Light Coxon, I'm going to tell you who are Light Coxon. Because Light Coxon is a sound system man in England. From the first time we go to England, we hear about Light Coxon. Say. And as a matter of fact, I go to one sound, I think a, a Brixton Academy, he did a play. When I just go to England, I think I don't get that play. And I hear about this Light Coxon, I say, oh, I have a name, Coxon. I wonder if I'm, re I'm, I'm, I'm connected to. To studio one, Cox and Dog and Jamaica, they saw. And we go there and have some serious music go on that me never did know, say, sound system I play in England, like, oh, me hear the sound system I play. Me never did know that was a new thing to me. How did I come by the name Coxon? Well, Mota, no respect to all the IRA FM listeners and Cotton Edge. Big up everyone in England and thing, you know? Yeah, man. All right, may I show you me arrive at this Coxon thing here now, right? When me go to England 62, right, there was just a little bit of recreation going on, nothing. And 
me ask my father, how come me not see nothing on television about Jamaica, sir? And him said, no, you won't see anything about Jamaica until there's a major thing happening. So from that day, I said to myself, I must do something to bring Jamaica up on the map. You understand? To be known. But cut a thing short, I, I play about three sound before I come to Coxon. Right? I play a, a sound named Queen of the West. Leave that. I play a sound named Barry Skyrocket. I leave that. I build my own sound, lie the matador, and big fight on that mashup, right? So I show you how I come to, to Cox now. You have a big sound in a southwest of London named Jew Creed, right? Me leave Matador and go and play Jew Creed and bring Jew Creed to the biggest, biggest sound systems in a South London that challenge North London also, right? But one day we play some catchy shubby while the sound supposed to play on a Thursday night. So when me leave where the cricket then come down for go upstairs as a selector. Two white men grab me up and me and them catch a fight and thing and beat up and thing. So them come back and arrest me. Right? And the policeman plant me with a with a with a chopper. I mean I carry them thing in a public place. So the man Mr. Reed now, when me play him sound, him just live round the corner from the courthouse, you know. So it's three times him supposed to come and give evidence to me and him don't turn up. So the judge sentenced me and give me a one year sentence for a knife when me never re- mash it when me never have. Cause me not carry them kind of weapon there. So by burning that ear they now in a trouble after me play read sound, me a burn the ear in a trouble cause him never come to defend me. And him never get in touch with me, never write me a letter, never nothing, him just leave me to go and burn the thing, right? And you know, when me in the burn the year, you know, me start think, me say, in Jamaica, you have two big sound, one named Drew Creed, and one named Sir Coxon. So when I come out of this, I now go back and play Drew Creed sound, I go and build my own sound, and call it Sir Coxon. All right, so wait, you know, wait, you know. So Drew Creed never connected to Drew Creed, don't you? No, because... Yeah, in, and Matador never connected to Matador, don't you? No, because in, yeah. in England... We take one sound name from each one in Jamaica, where we know. Cause that we grew up on. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we never take nothing else. We just call ourselves one of the songs we used to like in a Jamaica name. Mm-hmm. And move on. So, the thing work out for me in a, in a positive way. Because if that Duke really come give evidence to me, would I still play him sound? Moon Bill Cox, you understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the whole thing work out in a positive way for me. But, in England, there's a lot of great sound system in England. Yeah, you know, Jashaka, Jashaka is a man where I know personally. Yeah, Jashaka is a bad sound. You yeah. have King Tubbies, you have Saxon Studer, yeah. right? You have One Love. Yes. Yeah, you have many sound in England. If you, if you go Birmingham, you have Quaker City, you have Love Injection, Love Express, Gemini Dan. You understand? Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. go Manchester, you have Cass, right? You have Baron. If you go Bristol, you have Qualitex. If you go Nottingham, you have V Rocket. There's a lot of great sound in England. All right, what, what, what surprised me about you being well? Never say you are the most popular sound. Let me know. We don't know about if you are the most popular sound in England. Yeah. But I have assumed that you're the most popular sound in England over be, over the years where I know of the sort set. And every time I come to England, it's like cats now hear about. And then we see all that tour and all them really. But when I say no, how is it that you never come at Jamaica complain? I don't know. I come Jamaica and cut the most tune in Jamaica. Yeah. There's no man in the UK that yeah. cut rec- Jamaica record more than more than I. From King Tubbies, mm. Channel One, Harry J, you name it. Bell Road, Dynamic, up and down with Bonnie Lee, up and down with Niney. Mm. Spend many hours at uh, King Tubby's. It's amazing, it's amazing, because I don't want to throw no can, but, I mean, we are throwing it still. Um, the brethren there were supposed to come at Jamaica all the way, from Barry G. Days. What name again? Um, what the white brother name again? Radigan. Radigan, all right. 
Radican come here so many times. I'm a lap spin off with all a man from the area GT. Him play here, yeah, so him play there, so. And the other day, I see him get a word. Mandingo, call the other night. All this thing I come out, you know. It's true, Mandingo say him have a contact with you, you know. Yeah. And him say, oh, them are, oh, Jerry and all them people that celebrate reggae. And Radigan is the man where them choose for gay and a word. And you, and me can vouch that, you as a man where do more for reggae. Inna, and I'm a matter of fact, maybe Radigan we all say that too. Radigan we all say that too. Say you do re for, for reggae when no man do for reggae in a England. I would never hear no man say, like Jackson, we are putting up with GT Taylor or like Jackson. We want you come spin pan stone love or something. What? What, what you do? What you do? Tell me something. Well, like, you are. like you know, like nobody, I nobody to like. No, Tell well, you see, me, me is a humble person, you know. Yeah. I come to Jamaica, and then me just come to cut music mm. for play for my sound. Cause the difference with Cox and you know, the rest of people, when we cut music in a Jamaica, we cut the music in advance. Yeah. To play the music for the people like it and hear it and go and buy it. You understand? That's that's the solely thing, you know, for entertain people with the music. And make people go in a shop and buy it. But look, Jamaica now. Reggae is the home of Jamaica, right? Jamaica is a founder member of reggae, you know, in this country. Right? And remember, when we have my record shop in England and come here, I buy 45 and LP and disco and a year freight it from out of the airport of Kingston. Right? I got to England. You understand? Those days, man, used to go down a dynamic and then play some press. 200 record and by the time him come out of the gate somebody buy it because every shop in the world send somebody a Jamaica for buy 45 record and record and you shut down everything right I never hear Jamaica have a conference about reggae and it, this is the home of reggae you never call producer artists yeah, record outside shop of Jamaica. Yeah, yeah in, in a this country of Jamaica and I ain't out. Look what is happening to Jamaica music today. All of it is gone. Man who waiting for royalties not going to get none. Because through the reggae was out selling all other music. You have some man with some bright idea who decide to mess up the reggae industry and put all of our heritage music on the internet where you can download free. Well, I know reggae still live on the internet. Everybody, yeah, but you see, there are the other people music that is there. Them don't make them millions already, so them don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I, say, I, so how you think? How you think that can prevent? How you can prevent that? I ask the question. Like all YouTube, you know, everything where you want live on YouTube. Yeah, but, but you, I ask the question in London. How can we sue the internet to put all of our reggae heritage music on the internet where people download free? I show you a thing what in London now. If you go in some of the marketplace, you can buy one reggae album for one English pound. For the little small reel. See, and you see two Jamaica stop press vinyl. All the record shop them around the world start to close down. Yeah, that's true. Of course. That's true. Why we give away our things all the while what we have? Right? We have the pressing away on. We have everything pressing. People come from all walks of life coming to our country, Jamaica, for buy music. Yeah, and and you want, shut it if, down. If you want to press record, no, you have to send it to Miami, go press. Get That's press. it. Well, yeah. all right. May I buy 45 music in England, right? And it's Germany and Holland and France, them press. So we give away our press, a follow other people, while the people them can we, to sell out our press in Jamaica and I don't them press it in the continent. I know I know record I sell more than more than CD, you know. Of course. Vinyl <laughs> don't go nowhere. Yeah, vinyl I sell more than CD. Cause right now if you if you play in a France and you know play vinyl, a man say you're commercial, him they wanna listen to you. See me I say? Yeah. Me remember when we go France, you know. There was no sound system in France when Coxon go France. And we play in a place called the Pali in a France. Them say Cox must play one hour and them have a little house sound going to play some garage and some other type of things. So I say, so we string up and as you anywhere we go in a fire now we string up, 
we start play Bob Marley music first, card that everybody know. Bring them into Dennis Brown, Gregory, right through the car. They understand? And it's so we know the thing. All right. Me, 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 me go forward to, you know, Jamaica. Uh, as a man where, where, when you're youth, you used to follow a sound system, or uh, since you go to England, you, you get interested in a sound system. Well, hear me. Me born in a little village in the center, my son, named Cottage Pen. Remember that? Cottage mm. Pen. Mm. Just bottom side from where Paul Bogo come from, me born, see? Mm -hmm. But in Marant Bay and Seafoot, you used to have five big sound. Mm -hmm. Right? You have a sound in a Marant Bay called Mighty Mary Tune. Yeah, I'm still about. Welcome to town, yeah. Winston, Winston, Winston yeah. Yeah, man. Right? You have a next sound in a Dwayne Pen called Lord Little the Kid. Mm hmm. Not a big sound. You have phonics from Seafoot. Right? And you, and, and you have a Melo Canary. Ah, we know Melo Canary. Yeah, and you have a sound named Atomic. Come from in a market there in front of the market. Mm -hmm. So it's five big sound come from my era. Mm. See? Me a little boy, I used to teeth out of my yard and go over dance, go dance. Yeah. And then come back early in the morning and creep in. You understand? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, me love music from them time. But still, when I go to England, I never really go with the intention to say I have a sound and them things. These things just work. Yeah, exactly. You understand? Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, that's just what I'm there. All right, so how oh, you, oh, you come to to create the set itself now? Like, oh, over a period of what time it takes you to develop Coxon, the sound system itself? Well, when you come back as Cox now, right? It take a long time, cause we play and we make money and we build piece more amp, and we play and we make money and we build few more box. You understand? And develop mm -hmm. until we start to really get back on the road serious now and start make some money. Cause the difference with Coxon and the other sound them in England, you know. There's a lot of great sound in London, you know. Mm -hmm. But they're not leaving London, they're only great in London. Yes. So when Coxon come now, Coxon go up on a, a Tour. Go up on a musical tour. Yes. With the reggae music. So I'm not booking Alan. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Alan. Yeah, yes. I play Alan for the thing last yeah, year. Yeah. Right? So we marched to Bristol, Birmingham, Nottingham, everywhere. Mm -hmm. With the reggae music, you know. And bring it in a competition with other sounds. Yeah. You understand? Because mm -hmm. really, we need, a, we need the other sound, you know. Mm. Because if we don't have the other sound, we can't prove nothing. Prove nothing, yeah. So, man, say, so... We start go right round, we lick out the whole of UK. Yes. Lick out the, almost all of Europe. When we got, when I got to Alan first, there was no sound in Alan. I play an essential they come. Mm. Ram it off. Going to Alan today. Four big sound in Alan today. Yeah. Me play Belgium. No sound in a Belgium. Play a sound. I know you go back, you play, you have to play against a sound in Bobo Hill. 24 bass speaker. You understand? So, we go around and we bust the reggae. When we hear all white man like Radigan and the man come and get award for the upbringing of reggae. Mm. Upbringing of reggae? No, man. You make yeah. man in England vex. Of course. We have sound system. But we know, say, I'm a man vex. That's why, you know, wait there. You know, say, one of the reasons why me am glad to get your link is because of that same award business there. Eh? Yeah. Is that idea? Yeah, because I asked about it. Oh, me no hear no man a call all Lyde Coxon long here for go give him a word and the man there do so much things to the music in England. But Mota, you have 400 sound at on Lyde Coxon. Ah, uh, Josh Shaka. I mean, yeah. Josh Shaka is a man who makes so much CD of with course. dub and, you know, you All them sound there. is great sound. Yeah. You understand if you did call one of them man and give But when you say you give, give the Radigan a word for bringing a reggae, when David Radigan come, we don't turn reggae in a million, million, million yeah, 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 English yeah. pound and American dollar thing. Long <laughs> time, man. He <laughs> <laughs> must come like Christopher Columbus, ah, man, from Iraq, man. I chew, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I chew. Yeah. I, want, I, 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 hope, I hope the Jerry I want him to listen, you know. Yeah. You I see, hope the Jerry I want him to listen. Radigan, Radigan get some award from the Queen, you know. If you play from white man radio in England. OB, him get but, OB. But him try to show ah, people, him try to show people like say, him get it to play reggae. The queen now nah, give nobody a word to play reggae. If queen more sense and soldier can lock you up. <laughs> you understand? If Bob Marley, 
Don't get a word from the Queen to play reggae. Who else will get it? See? So, if them when they come down, them when are imposters. Yes, you're listening to Light Cox in outer England there. The sound system man that I would have said, as a sound system man, really pioneer reggae music pan sound system. Now clap your hands and in England. Love sugar miner. More than all Jesus love little children. <laughs> Mine are one of my personal virgin man who we get a lot of good music from, you know? Yeah. So, you know, respect. all right. I, I hear you mention some sound system in a center, man. Like, well, married to it. Yeah. I'm married to it, me grew up on. I mean, in a school, yeah. me used to left. Me used to left married to it and go to school the next man. Yeah, but me go to me go to school with the married to brother, then, you know? Yeah, no, yeah, well, me know, but me, me know. Believe yeah, you yeah. me, me know, but hear me say now. Married to one, not only play reggae, but them play soul music. Yeah. In, a, in a your beginning, you used to play soul music. Yeah, man, I play at the Rowing Twenties Club in the West End of London yeah. for seven years. Yes. And it's a multiracial club. Club, okay. Uh, we teach white people to learn to dance our music, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not about reggae, you know, soul music, man. Yeah, man. We play, yeah. we play Holy Pahar and be mixed with the reggae, man. All right, let me ask you a question. When you, oh, oh, all this, the future, because we are listening to Sugar Minot. Yeah. And you have a Holy Pahar, and there was a, a genre of music where we rise up in our, in our England name, Lovers Rock. Yeah. Because we know it's England that, that terminology come from. Just like ragamuffin music. Yeah, man. Me, I make oh, the oh, first, oh. I make the first Lovers Rock. Right? Which, which, Lovers Rock was was really a label, you know, it was a record label. Yeah. Won by a man named Dip. Mm-hmm. But um I met the first Lovers Rock with a, a young daughter called Louisa Mark, a tune called Carty in a lie. Mm. And um the tune it. And since the tune it 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 bring out a lot of a girl singers. Cause what happened I used to run a Wednesday night talent competition. Wait, 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 where's such a name? Where's such a name? Louisa Marx. Louisa Mark. Yeah, man. She passed away a couple of years, about four years okay. now. Okay. In a Gambia. And yeah. then come back to England. Yeah. I used to run a Wednesday night talent competition in a club called Four Aces. And then she come and she sing three weeks straight and, and bust the thing, you know? Mm-hmm. So, my gun record her with a tune named Carty in a lie, Robert Parker tune. And the tune hit. So. That was Carty in a lie. Yeah. And yeah. She, she was 16 years of age. Mm. She kind of motivate the other girl them to come on for the thing, and then you start to have this wave of lovers rock tune. All right, stick up in there, stick up in, stick up in. You wouldn't believe so we have that tune. So it's there. you produce that tune there? Yeah, man, it's I'm on tune that, man. I'm on produce. You know, you may have the tune, I never know how you produce it. Believe yeah, man, yeah, man, I'm on produce All right, so this, you said this was one of the first hints of lovers rock yeah, in that, England. Yeah, man, one of the first, man. Yeah. And then. Through this girl here so young and sing this tune, yeah? Yeah. She bring out whole heap of girl out of the woodwork, man. Trust yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. And this is a major amount of young women that sing lovers rock in England. In England. Yeah. Call yeah. some other ones, uh, female artists. Where you well, they have Jean, Jean Alibamba, Pirate, yeah. you know. Yeah. And um, quite a few more. Yeah, yeah. You know? So which part does she say there now? Marx, Louisa Marx. She passed away, you know. Oh, she died. She okay. leaving England and go Gambia and I don't know what happened, you know. She get no problem in Gambia and get yes. lose her life, you know. Yes, yes, so, yes. So, um, yeah. All right. So you said the lovers rock now, the lovers rock genre developed from that, that tune, you say. It yeah. come from that tune, and now it, it, it become a genre of music. Yeah, man, it become a big uh, music, man. They say... Really, probably is one you say Tipari tune, but probably this is one of the only tune we recognize we're making up Britain mm. in a Jamaica at that time. Come again, no, you say we're making up Britain. This tune we we making in England, right? Yes, is the only tune where probably Jamaica could have said a good tune make a foreign. Oh, you mean the one we play now? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's so rude to steal it. It's so like the guy glad for you. It's so like the guy glad. All right. And that was why year that? Why year that you had that? About, um, late 70s. All right. So, you are uh, one, historically, 
Because we are doing this as a historical yeah, interview, man. you know. So we have to get the thing proper. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so now historically Light Coxon responsible for the movement of the genre of music called uh, Lovers Rap in uh, England. Yeah, man, I would have personally said that. Nobody now to dispute that. Well, people always dispute things, ain't it? Like when them dispute it and say, for instance. I because don't know. We, we, have, we have, um, we didn't have, um, strike a linear one night, you know. Yeah. And we are talking about the movement of, from rock city to reggae. Yeah. And which was the first reggae song. And then we didn't have, we, we, Derek Morgan did a talk. Um, um, uh, Herman and, um, the Bridget who did play the first, the first reggae. And them say, Bangarang. Yeah. Mama no one Bangarang was the first reggae. And then now the dispute, it comes. So, when I ask you about the dispute, you know, in the dispute, what do they say that counteract what you are saying? I don't hear any dispute. No, but you say dispute, they're there. Well, I say people always dispute things. Oh, yeah, they I am dispute. saying, yeah. I am the per person who deal with lovers rock first. Yes. And then we want somebody else to ring up now and say that a lie. Say that a lie. lie. All right. Anybody from England can tell Kaku to lie, man. Tell Kaku. Yes, we only tell English yeah, call, you know, yeah. that, no job you can yeah, call. Yeah, give us some English call. Yeah. And make a firm up and know. Yes. If yeah. I lie the cocks and come in a Jamaica and I tell the people I'm lying. Lie. All right. <laughs> All right. So All right. Say. All right. The, the, the set where you have is the same things that you play with now. You, you upgrade. No, man, we change, man. You, you upgrade see, over the years. With sound system, you have to upgrade over the years. So, so you used to use the, 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 the the way they them, the valve, the, the, the valve, the bulb. Yeah, yeah, me used to use valve. And yeah. I'm going to show you something. If you transform your sound from valve to transistor, is a hard thing. No man couldn't tell me. Mm. Say me must give up my valve. Forgot to take transistor. transistor. Mm. No, me never want to hear that. But, oh, me I got to change the transistor now, right? Me I play some valve amplifier. Get some little smaller youth. And them just come in with poor little orange box. <laughs> and piece, piece of sleeve <laughs> and push it underneath the box. And me have about 16 box string up. See it? So you see when the piece of transistor drop the four box, me shame. Yeah, yeah. Me have yeah. to go outside and... I can't imagine that. Yeah, yeah. me go outside, go roll a slip and stay outside and people are coming and dance up when me are outside and I say, boy, you know something. You can't tell me. You come in. <laughs> but I drop them and I drop weight for me. You can't tell me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's one thing with sound, you know. You have good sound in England, you know. You have to come good, you know. Yes, yeah. England have the, the most technology music, there, you know. there, The technology there, there. Yeah, England have the most reggae Re music. No, we know that. We know reggae, that. Reggae, reggae. Born in a Jamaica, yes, sir. But, it, but England. England is the business end. That's why most of the artists, they go to England in the original. Yeah, field, and... Yeah. And one thing why I don't like with, with Jamaica people. All the newspaper, all the radio personnel, them. Why you keep calling Jamaica artists, Jamaica local artists? Why you keep doing that? Mm. Jamaica artists are Jamaica international reggae artists. Yes, yes. Because we know when they go out there, the amount of crowd that them pull and the joy that them bring to people. Mm -hmm. So I think that you should have treated you, 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 like you don't like that terminology there. No, local artist, Jamaica yeah. local art, Jamaica artist, <laughs> bus pass local and Ghana, <laughs> Ghana moon, long time, man. You have to local. No. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> man, man. Yes. We are going to take London yes. call tonight. You know, London call we are taking. So give give <laughs> chance to your call. I know when you say that. So yes. I just phone through immediately, you know. Yeah, and man. Yeah, yeah, man. Big up yourself, yeah. man, Dingo, man. Every time, you know. We just have come to yes. you. I am responsible for this interview. You know? Yeah, I man. know that. You know? If you own the black journalist in England, man, <laughs> but I deal with the thing right, man. <laughs> Monday. Yeah, when I was old school beat, when I was old school beat, yeah. Yeah, man, Kingston Technical High School, yes, <laughs> with Marcus Garvey Jr. as teacher and thing. Yeah. But, um, I'm glad, and I must say, happy birthday, belated for myself, because it's yesterday, Wednesday, the 18th of March, was my earth strong, my birthday. Happy birthday, sir. Yeah, I'm man. That you're weird, man. Happy birthday. Yeah, man. Rastafari, <laughs> bless you each time, man. I watch nothing. Yes, and, and it's my daughter's birthday today, the 19th of, of, of March also. And very, very important interview this, that Light the Coxon is helping to set the record straight 
where reggae music, Jamaican music, is concerned in Britain and Europe by extension. Because it is gross disrespect by a lot of people in the media and otherwise in Jamaica who disrespect the Jamaican African pioneers who have pioneered and promoted not just reggae, but Jamaican music. Because remember before reggae, there was Rocksteady and Skia. And it's Jamaicans in Britain who promoted the music through the sound systems, as Lydie say. And we have to pay credit to the first sound system man in London, in Britain, in Europe, Duke Vin, the original, the man who was the DJ for Tom the Great Sebastian Sound, top Jamaican sound, from Luke Lane, known as Shine Shoes Vinny. And then when he went to England, Stowe, on a boat from Bowden in St. Thomas, the parish of Lady Coxon, with Count Suckle, Suckley, as he was known at the time, and Lenny Fry, in 1954, started the first sound system in 1955 in Britain. So we give tribute to the pioneers, starting with Duvin as the sound system man. Count Suckle later had his own sound and many other sounds. Sir Christopher from Birmingham, Quaker City, who lie they mentioned. Count Steve from Shepherd's Bush, um, Neville the Musical Enchanter. Numerous sounds, you know, Fanso, Fat Man Sound, Unity Sound. Um, musical Prince Sound from Ladbroke Grove. You know, so, you sounds all over. You know, you know, you know why. Why we jump to this interview without any thinking of it is that we, we want to make the Jamaican people know that there's a vibrant Jamaican music community that is, I would say, much larger than we're in a Jamaica. Yeah, the, man, the, 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 reggae, the reggae scene in, 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 in England is much larger than where Anya saw, and we don't talk about just one genre, because right now we see dance hall take over Jamaica. But in England, you have dance hall, you have reggae, you have ska, you have rock city, you have lovers rock, you have all jungle. Yeah, man, you have all kind of yeah. different music. Like, like you play jungle, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Lady, you play jungle? Me never play a jungle for my sound yet, man. That's a idiot thing, man. See? You have your music. Properly mix already. <laughs> so where you got jungle yeah. top for? This is sound. All right. Oh, but well, the well, genre, well, well, business, the yeah. genre we originated <laughs> in England. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jungle, but listen, jungle, listen. I knew when that. Them try for them try for you know? do everything, you know. Fit pick away from reggae, you know. Mm. Them try every little thing. Yeah, yeah. They try make it sound a reggae again or something else. Something you know. else, yeah. But, but the reggae and change. Them, them are, them are, them are, Twist round the reggae and I call it something else. Reggae are the greatest it's music, true. man. It's like techno. Them I twist round the dub music and can't call it techno. Yeah, mm. you see. Yes. Yes, yes. yes but man, true. man. <laughs> yeah. It is significant that you mention jungle. Because guess what? One of the people who came with jungle is the son of my Jamaican cousin who was one of the pioneers. Mm. Of what became known as Love as Rock. Honey okay. Boy, yes. who now lives in Brazil. Yeah. The youth named Shy FX is Honey Boy's cousin. Yeah. It's his Honey Boy's son. He's my cousin. I am big up the jungle happened. thing. I am big up the jungle thing. Yes, he's one of the main pioneers. Shy FX still operating. But his father, who is now in Brazil, one of the biggest yeah. reggae stars in Brazil, right now he's touring in Sao Paulo, a one week tour, is one of the pioneers of what later became known as Lovers Rock, yes. as well as Ginger Williams, yes. who was produced by the great Ronnie Bop, yeah, who used to play with the wheelers, the guitarist yeah, of yeah. Spanish Town. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, don't come off the phone, EL, EL. Hello, yeah. sir? Yeah. Yes. 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 No, no, don't you, talk, you man, no, man, no, man, 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 don't talk, don't talk. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes, Bridget. Yes, it's my time. Yeah, yeah, pan here. Yeah, respect. Yeah, man, I can confirm that. Where you call from? Where the Ulan? Where you call from? 
Right. I mean, Sheffield Westmoreland, but I'm Westmoreland. Westmoreland, you call from. Northern. You know, you mean say no call. I, 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 I you just call me. All right, I'm verbal. All right, go on, go on. Yes, yes, yes. So I can come from, like, come from yes, man. You remember I found call yeah. mighty? Two mighty. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. So I was in Nottingham when you came down there one time. Yeah. And I remember, I remember when the tune just come out with um, Louisa Marks, casting yeah. a light seven inch of black label. Yeah. They have it too. Yeah, yeah. That's okay, cool. okay. So, so you, you, you live in England, you know, you live in Westmoreland, you know, you know, but I live in yeah, England man, again. Man, yeah, man, we come out a long time still, you know. Okay. So back in them, they buy whole heap of tune. Yes. So from Art and Ellis and all them artists, them, yeah, man, yeah. they have them. Mm -hmm. Them used to be in the music, but yes, man, Coxon, man, you know. All right, so give thanks, yeah? Yeah, man, blessed. Yes. Mandingo. Yes, yes. Yeah, continue the journey. Uh, uh, because at the history we are working with that one, you know, yeah, 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 yes, man. this that, program is supposed to document, yeah. Yeah, you, you see that Louisa Mark tune, Cartier and Lai, yeah. is one of the greatest lovers rock tune mm. ever created. And one of the biggest selling tunes, even though um, Lai got robbed in terms of the money as royalties. But oh, you, you know the man business or that thing. Really? What you know the man business? Me and Lai, I'm the manager. Me and Lai, I'm doing everything. We are Lai, 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 we are the well, music where we the don't. man where we get the music for put what? out, you know? We're not, yeah. The man who we get the music for distribute it, you know? Where him name? Him mm -hmm. name Reg McLean, you know? Him not get a money for you. know, him wrap up the thing, you know? <laughs> and my tongue. Who's that remember my credit? 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 We have put the thing for yeah. record. <laughs> Where's that tongue that amount? Yeah, my tongue. My tongue. My tongue. My tongue. My tongue. Stop it talking, Rasta. The Who are here, the man with my talk about? The what? man, the man, the EMI, the record for, 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 um, Big label. Yeah. EMI. Yeah, for yeah. distribute. Yeah. And then start to fix up him office and drive brand new Jaguar and everything. And mm. when we go down, pan him for some money, him start hide and thing, you know? Yeah. So one day we see him over the market square and say, Well, I'm bridging, come give me some money. How come you hide? Land. Yeah, how come you hide and thing, you know? And then me and him catch up. I'm mm. giving my thump and broke him jaw. <laughs> <for the money. laughs> so, <laughs> and then, but you still never get the money? No. So you never lock you up? Yeah, man, me end up in a trouble, man. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you still never get the money? No, yeah, man. All right, man. Only for time, you end up in a yes, trouble yes. for sound, you know, man, dingo. You know. Yes, mm. Yeah, man. Right, hold on there. Hold on there, man, dingo. Yeah. Listen, man. We carry truckload of sound up and down highways, you know. Hundreds of miles, you know. Mm. Ten ton truck, you know. With 14, 15, 16 bass speaker traveling through snow. Everything truck broke down all from motorway in the snow. And you have to sleep till yeah, yeah, man come for start you. We don't, we, we, we've been through a barrage of things, man. To play our music, man. We've been through police brutality. As we keep a dance and string up, police come and say, No dance, stop it. Take away all your drink and arrest you. For selling drink without license. And when them come court, them don't bring one can of drink. And you still get charged. <laughs> <laughs> no, no evidence. No evidence, but you still get charged. We've been through everything. So, so me, me ask you, me, me ask you, Mandingo. Yes, ma yes. The, the people, them, all right, we still are celebrate reggae month, as you can see. And we still are celebrate yeah, Black History Month. month. And yes. we still are celebrate Black History Month. The ones, them, who is responsible for the whole heap of reggae celebration. Mm -hmm. Them don't know Coxon. Um, most of them, from what I gather, because I think, they, most of them don't know of Coxon because they have not been really been a part of the reggae business in its entirety. Mm, mm. And one of the things that I was surprised about is to realize that Michael Iba Cooper, mm. who is chair of Jaria, mm -hmm. did that thing for Radigan. Instead of Africans from Jamaica like, like the Coxon and Buvin and other people like that. Yeah. Because Ibo, Ibo is a you to know me know the music and, and, him know, and him know the scene, him know the scene. Yes, yeah. exactly. Because 
the boy and I know each other from school days, you know. When me I go to Campion College, him I go to Jamaica College, and his little brother who died tragically in a vehicle accident, Delroy Cooper, was going Campion with me. Mm. So we know each other from long time, and mm. Ibo should have known better. Because I, I don't blame people like Charles Campbell who in Jerry and so on. So yeah. because but them, Charles Campbell is one of the, the, Charles one of the big man them in Jerry too, you know. Yes, but him do but him don't know the history of this. See? Okay. Him don't know the history of this. Mm. I man think of born and growing at the history of Jamaican music. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. But Ibo, Ibo should have known better. And you see, it's the slave mentality whereby a lot of our African people give awards about our own culture to non Africans <laughs> rather than them own people. And that is the truth, and I don't care who is vexed about that. And Marcus Garvey said, Marcus Garvey said, we must exalt yeah. our own, and see to our own, and give Ex awards to our own. True, true, yeah. true, true. And this, and they are doing the opposite of what Marcus Garvey, the greatest African leader and the first national hero of Jamaica, said. Mm -hmm. You see, on the thing of Lover's Rock, the name exactly Lover's Rock, because the music was before the name came about. Dennis Harris, a Jamaican producer, and who had a record shop, he had a label called Lovers Rock that he used to put yeah, out music. And that 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 that's how just the name come. Yeah, but he also that, had yeah. a label called Deep Label where he used to put out the reggae music coming from Jamaica. But of course, before that, people like Larry Coxon and um, same honey boy, my cousin. Pioneer in the music. Honey boy had tunes like Sweet Cherry, Impossible Love, and others like that. You see? You, you, uh, so you have many Jamaican musicians and artists and so on who were involved in to what later became known popularly as Lover's Rock. And when you talk about Lover's Rock, you have to call Lady Cox's name as producing one of the anthems of Lover's Rock, Louisa Mark tune. You that, know, that is the tune we just off. play a while ago. That is the tune we just yeah, play. Yeah, man, you just play it a while ago. Yeah. Yes, only boy, it's only boy Martin you talk about. Only boy Martin you talk about. No, not only not boy only Martin. Martin. Okay. Only boy, no. Only boy Williams. Okay. From okay. Jamaica, my yeah, cousin. Yeah, Keith, yeah. Keith, Honey Boy Williams. William, that he okay. lives in, in, in Brazil. Brazil, no. Still, yeah. still active. You know, great, great, um, you know, we have, we have people like that. Uh, one of the biggest lovers rock is Al Campbell from Jamaica. The two name, um, G Baby, 1976. Round about 1976, 77. One of the biggest lovers rock. Al Campbell is Jamaican singer, songwriter, and produced by, um, Phil Pratt. So, Sugar Minot, you've been playing Sugar Minot, Sugar Minot, when he was here, that Sugar Minot that you played, is, is, is music that he made here. You can't leave out Alton Ellis, the great, my favorite No, 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 no watch out, watch out. The program just started, you know, we couldn't leave out Alton Ellis. <laughs> we, no, can't no, we, out that, that. No, we can't no, leave out Greg no, Rice. We can't leave out Greg Rice. Yeah. You see, Alton, Alton produced one of, produced Janet Key. Yeah, yeah, me, yeah, yeah. We don't reach it for you. She is one of the lovers' rock queen. Tune like loving you. Ah, right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, Mandingo. Hold on. Yes, 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 Muta. And so Alton Ellis the Great was the first to produce and turn Janet Key in a star. And Janet Key is related to Paul Bogle. Her name is Janet Key Bogle. But when Alton wanted to use the name to put on the label for her first recording, he said, what's your name? And she said, Janet Bogle. And he said, that never sounds so catchy for the public. So he said, what's your middle name? And she said, K. And he says, Janet K. your name. Alton Ellis do that. All right, so, sir. one of the pioneers. And we have to mention Castro Brown from Portland. Eastern Jamaica is one of the early and great producers of Lovers Rock in I think England, I the group 15, I, I think 16, I 16 and 17. I think I used to produce Lady Saw originally. Yes, yeah. Lady Saw and, men, and, and, many, and, and many others, yeah. include and Luciano, Mikey Spice, yeah, and so yeah, on. Yeah, Castro yeah. Brown. Yeah. He's one of, and, and Castro Brown is one of the biggest 
All right. Come you, you, you know what you're a guy leave. You know what you're a guy leave. You know what you're a guy leave, Coxney, and all over the history. Yeah, man. We want to go back to Coxney, you know. We are gone clear over this one. We want to come back over here. We want to big up Castro Brown in yeah. Jamaica, too, you know. Yeah. Cause He's Cass listening right now. Castro Brown, right Brown was a dangerous mic man, Pan Cox, you know. We put the crowd in. We had a mute to talk on the sound. Yeah, man. Yeah. Dangerous mic man, Pan the sound, you know. Yeah. Pull crowd by 2 o'clock. Everybody have world to come in because I'm come on 2 o'clock, you know. Dynamic MC. So, so tell me something. Me. When you do indoor venues and things, how long the, 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 the set goes so, or the sound goes so? Well, in your venue, you can go tell morning, you know. Mm. The government structure place is 5 o'clock or 4.30. But you know, say, we are Jamaican, we always find a yeah, place to bring up the sound. Yeah. Okay, where they say, we are find a place to put up that. You understand? Because of our thing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, outdoors see? now, where you play outdoors, what happen? We play outdoors in a park and thing. See him where it go till morning? No, man. It go till 12 o'clock. The biggest thing where we have in England is carnival. Yeah, we know. Right? And carnival starts. Who talk on phone back <laughs> again? You hear? Yeah, all right, all right, yeah. Yes. Can yes. I, I go and listen? I'm your phone before the show in again. Yeah, yeah. bless it. Yeah, yeah. So, me I say Muta, right? Mm. The biggest venue we have in a, in a England is the carnival, right? Mm. It's sound system bus carnival. Mm. And now them don't want a sound system playing a carnival a London. That's our not little carnival. Yeah, not yeah, them yeah, carnival. Them yeah. banned me from that. Them five <laughs> years, them banned Cox and Sound. I feel like you're a bad body. You no, know? them couldn't stop me from play until 12.30. <laughs> so banned me from that. Them five years, them banned Cox and Sound. I feel like you're a bad body. You no, know? them couldn't stop me from play until 12.30. <laughs> So them ban me for five years, but that not say nothing. Them ban you from the carnival for five years? Yeah, man. You say you start playing say, again, I, I, the five no, years No, them say needless supply. Oh. <laughs> 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 so may I show you now. Carnival is the biggest thing in London. Mm. Start 12 o'clock. Start 12 o'clock in the day. Yeah, yeah. And by 7 o'clock in the day, it's over. Now you do a thing that. With about a million people. Because me, if you carry my sound, by the time you string, string, string up, up, a time for just string <laughs> up. And, <laughs> and gone again. Look when we in a Europe. Yeah. Europe thing start 12 o'clock. Yeah. And 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Europe thing just are over. Yeah. And by 12 o'clock the next day again. Well, I feel so what happened there is that them festival they keep. We are out in a bush. Yeah, but... It's not still like England. No, you see, since 9-11 in England, mm. England changed. Mm. Anyway, 10 people gather, the, the authority tremble. Yes. You yes. understand? So, I saw the thing no, really wrong. No, but what I said, all right, for instance, where, where were they at? They are Alan. Yeah. Are we in some back of bush that, you know? Yeah, me so know So you still. can't play till now, till our three, four days straight. Nobody now come there. Me come. know still, but... But carnival time too short still. Yeah, a sound yeah, system yeah. bus carnival, you know. Yes, yes. You yes. see, even in Jamaica here, mm. we always try to do everything we're foreign do. And we our thing. You know, so the, the whole world is influenced by what Jamaica do. Yeah. The yeah. whole world is influenced by Jamaica. Musically, every country we go, everybody want to come to Jamaica. Yeah. Serious. Mm. And from here is a Jamaica and you get tea, dinner, bed, Debt, money, <laughs> everything you get. So you use a Jamaica and go any part of foreign. Yeah. See? Because one thing, we a Jamaica, we don't wrap up, you know. Even in London, you pass a road and when you look, you see pure smoke. A man just carry him pan and put in a corner and some chicken that a lick. <laughs> 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 and next week, from the other corner, fish a lick. Yeah, yeah. And them get a lick around for a couple months until Babylon come and wipe it off. And they move and go down the road somewhere else. So you see, Jamaican people are the greatest people, you know. Mm. The only problem we have as Jamaica, we fight against ourselves, you know. Yeah. See yeah, me, I say? Yeah. But if we stop fighting against ourselves, we have everything, man. Because the whole world, I'll show you about them African women. You see, the African man, them will leave Africa and come in England. Them no slave, you know. So they no business with you, you know. I pay white people upon them, man, you know. Yeah. Yeah, up here half cast woman me see from African women, you know. Yeah. In a UK, you know. Yeah. Them no mess with West Indian people, you know. Yeah. Them no mix with we a little way. And it's a truth. So we're too rebellious. Yeah, we mostly mix with Trinidad and Guyanese. Yes. And them boy a rude boy to and thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. Him. But me as a big man, me not no rude boy thing, you know. <laughs> because Cox and Sound you is left, like... You left the rude boy thing, you mean? Long time. Cox, you left the rude yeah. boy thing. Yeah. Cox and Sound is like a university, you know. And that we realize it's well... Uh, 
where plenty youth come and learn them trade a coxswain and gone, you know, yeah. and turn big. So, you know, when Sturgav come meet coxswain in England, what happened? Good vibe, man. Heaven broke, heaven broke loose. Me glad, me glad you touched on this telegraph thing. Yeah. Because daddy, you are, you know, so I love you, you know. Yes. But I've lately, anytime I'm traveling with the people, I'm worried and I said to Mr. Coxon, how come Josie Wales is the pan telegraph? I'm bringing here Jerry and Josie. No. And, oh, just Josie Wales. Just Josie Wales and, and Charlie Chaplin. Yes. Are the two greatest. Man, that pan a sound system in well, the whole well, wide maybe, world, you know. Well, maybe, maybe, um, before the program done, you right, we call, cause somebody will tell him, say, you know, you're a cat's not yeah. I'm to Joe's wheels and. No, well, Joe, you see, right now, may I tell daddy, you right, the truth. Mm. Stereograph without Joe's wheels, now nah, gone away. Mm. The people, them want back Joe's wheels, pan stereograph with Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. Cause the two men commend each other. Them man, there's living poetry, you know. Yes, yeah, a two man. Living poetry, a we don't have that again. Them man, they should have record all the time. Yeah. See? Alright, hold on the bridge, and hold on there, with the writing at the heart of the middle night, you know. We know it's about five o'clock in England, you know. Yes? Yeah. That is five o'clock Thursday. And this is twelve o'clock. Reggae scene in England through the art, soul, and mind of one of the pioneers in pushing the music. A man called Light Coxon. You're listening to the Royal Rattis, Prince Lincoln. May I tell you, what a sweet voice, man. Yeah, man, big up yourself every time, Muta. Yeah, man. And the coaching it. You see that tune the way you just play? Yes. But that channel one when it buys, you know. Yeah. And when, when Royal Ross vice that tune, I said to myself, boy, I can't leave that tune if I go to England. No care what happened. Mm. The way the tune was so nice. And after him vice it and come out, I said to him, say, boy, Ross is my name Coxon from England of a sound, you know, and would I like get a copy, a piece of the tune if I play. He said, yes, man, I know about your song, man, but I don't give a man my tune for character in England go pirate. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm skeptical to him. Yeah. Every man feel that way there. But, though. you know, I'm get the, I still get the tune, you know. Because yeah. Jojo, who can come round and say, yeah, man, you can't get Cox the tune, you know, because yeah. Cox not play all of my tune, you know. Yeah, and yeah. It's a man if I get it still, you know. But come like I hear a sound system boss at night. Yeah, boss that boss that tune. Yeah, me know man. that. Me boss know that. All of the D, bro. You know, say, all I of the Gregory. Yeah, you know, say, I only pass in my ear about Cox. Yeah. And, me never really take it into consideration, but no, me I have here so now. Me yeah. can tell you, say, that junior, when we got England, the man the moved me amongst, yeah. amongst, even before him dead, too, you know, because the bridge will not sing dead. Yeah, man, Prince yeah, man. Lincoln. Yeah, Prince Lincoln. Man, say, are you, are yeah, you, man, me are bust you them, me yeah. bust them tune, man. Yeah. Mash up all pass on them tune. Uh, uh, the uh, late uh, great uh, Prince Lincoln from the Royal Rats humanity. Yes. This is the Cutting Edge on RFM. We are shout out to all the people that in England right now who are listening to the Cutting Edge. Yeah, because I know the history this. Believe you me, history. Oh, Tell me something. Who would who, who mean? Like how, like how you just mentioned Josie Wills and, um, and, and, and Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. Pan Sturgav. Who was your main DJ them by your set? Can you mention um, Brown a while ago? Yeah, me have some bad DJ, man. Me have, me have a DJ called named Festus. Top sound system DJ. Dangerous selector. Right? We have Black and Dread who come through the sound as big selector also. Mm. We have Gappy Crucial who come through. We have Natty. We have only a man who come through Coxon as big selector. Alright, so them man they used to make music and you play the music pan set and just them just follow the set and DJ pan the set. Them man just follow the set, man. Oh, them not, you're not, you're not there was a team. Music with them. No, there was a team, you know. Yeah, we yeah. never produced none of them man they still. Okay. There was a team round the sound and we travel right through U UK, mm. Europe, playing the reggae, you know? Alright, I'll go and play our next tune now where Yeah, but before you play that. Yeah, yeah. One, even Burning Spear. Mm. Cox and Bus Burning Spear. In England. Yeah, man. Alton Ellis carry me goes through the one. Mm. Introduced me to Mr. Dad, them there. Mr. Dad called me him namesake. He said, come on my namesake. Mm. So he gave me a test press with Burning Spear album, first album, and said, boy, some countryman make this, you know. Go to your yard and listen to this and come back and tell me. Give me an insight on this before you go to England. Yeah. Go above you and play 
Burning Spear tune, Test Press. Mm. And fall in love with that few tune, but the, the big tune pan there where me love was a tune name is a good little thing, so you never get swell headed. Swell headed it name? Yeah. yeah. And we carry that LP, the guy in England, and bust Burning Big Spear. Tell him start record with Jack Ruby. Yes. And we think, even Bob Marley. Yes. We play most of Bob Marley tune them before them release, you know. Yeah. Because we get the tape and cut them. And one day I go up to Lee Perry and tell Lee Perry, say, Boy, I want some, um, some of them old Bob tune where you doing and thing. And Lee Perry say, I mix Congo's album, say, I have no time. Go up, see a letter there, go up and a little place up there and some tape. Yeah, you know me come down off a Lee Perry shelf with Natural Mystic, yeah. Bob Marley. The original version. Rainbow Country. Yes, yes. Max Romeo put on the iron shirt, chase the devil yes, out of town. Yeah, yeah. And a youth named Color Red, a tune named From Creation. Yes. And, when me jump in a mic, I forgot to so cut it. Lee Perry run, come and say, you can't leave with the tape. <laughs> but you see, while him attack, me a press pedal, and him, him just ball out and say, don't make no man cut nothing off of that cock. So I'm going to go in a tubbies and cut it and carry back the tape again. Yes. And bust up the place. In England. Me a play in the Queen Theatre, you know. Yeah. Them have a, 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 a show with, with you, Rye, and Leroy Smart, them, mm. and Rye Shirley before him pass. Mm. But it's about ten artists, so you have five artists going to work first. When you in the Queen Theatre on the river bank, you know, and you're up at the upstairs, the people up on the stage don't they look like a little small little something. We're performing there already. The way of the place We're big. So, there already. so anyhow, five artists play off. Mm. And then me I go play in at the interval before the other five artists come on. Yeah. And you see when I play Rainbow Country. Please, Rick. It was a standing ovation, man. <laughs> Even the evening standard, man, said so when the maestro, Sir Coxon, played the legendary Bob Marley, Rainbow Country, it was a standing they ovation. They've never heard that one before. Yeah. So a long time, we have bust Bob, you know. Mm-hmm. And we have bust every artist, too. D. Brown, yes. Gregory, you name it. We yes. have bust every artist, Bob Andy. Listen to that, Junior. The Advent are like the skinhead them in England. And the skinhead them are, um, Gravitate towards Skia. Yeah. Like Derek Carriott, Prince Buster. And then you start to have no groups like Clash, um, Sting, where, where, where you used to, um, in a, um, where the group of Sting used to, to there with again, um, Police. Yeah. You have Police, you have Clash, and you have quite other few. They are, oh, 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 they are, in, in the England musical scene, you know, them start to take the reggae, take the sky especially, yeah. from the, 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 the black community. Yeah, but let me show you something, Mota, right? Yeah, yeah. One of the albums that leave Jamaica here, that start to motivate mm. band like Police and the whole of them band, right? Was the Whalers album, Soul Rebel. Out of Soul Rebel album comes a lot of groups who start to play like the music them with the pan Soul Rebel, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know in anything that we do, white people always infiltrate it, you know? Yeah, definitely. You understand? Anything we do, them mm-hmm. always come and do it. So it's a police and the whole of them group there, eh, Clash. UB40, yes. and the whole of them come through in the reggae thing. They have show you how powerful the reggae but music is. But it's ironical is. that anytime them take it, it's them make the money off of it. Then that may show like them, Sting, like police become one of the biggest yeah. soft rock group. Clash, almost like a reggae group. UB40, the biggest reggae group ever. Biggest group. I mean, outside of Wheelers. UB40 sell more record than any other reggae group ever, 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 ever. Yeah. And Al, and, 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 and Ali can be still a sing. Because they depend on the show last year, too, remember? Yeah, man. They remember, forget the words. They couldn't remember the words. They were trying. They couldn't, when they feel like, after being introduced, the body don't rasta. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra featuring <laughs> Al, the Campbell, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> when me hear the violin, them there, it's all right. Yeah. Me don't hear nothing. Yeah, me know, me, me see it too. Me and then when me look around, me say, but where the man there? <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, me have to turn around and me talk, my little foolishness. <laughs> like, everybody get, me say, 
Oh, the talk about Jamaican people give trouble. <laughs> and here the big, big reggae, Ali Campbell, that's all. <laughs> and if I give peer trouble, you know, can't give, if I give, if I wait for you, what I'm calling, tell him, tell him, mm. where, where you have to look on the world. On the world, world yeah. yeah. And he couldn't get it. Couldn't <laughs> get it, man. <laughs> Last him way, man. But, oh, 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 how do them, how do them feel in England? When they them say, the Jamaican artists, them work so hard, and then you have some English white youth. Just take it and go with it. So. Yeah, and then use your own thing and mm. make it and you don't make it. Yeah. Because there's victimization in, 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 in the whole of the recording industry, you know. Yeah, yeah. V big victimization in the thing. I'm going to show you something when these men start to jump for reggae. When, Brock, when Blackwell signed Bob, hip tones, mm. metals and them thing. All of the other company, them start run up and down yeah. and look things for sign. yeah. You understand? Some of them like Virgin and them are end up getting DJs and thing. You understand? But our reggae music is powerful worldwide, man. Yeah. You see, you see the dancehall music, yeah. dancehall music is a hit mm. among the young people. But we just want to clear up the lyrics, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because well, as everybody say. Yeah, if you send good lyrics, you tune out good places. Nothing can stop you. You know, go yeah, places. Yeah, yeah. You know? But, what we need now in a Jamaica, you need to call a conference because you, you lose all of the heritage music we have on tape. Mm. It depends on the internet free. So, we have to regroup now. Right? Call a conference with everyone and say, where we going to go from here? Or we can get some money back out of the thing. All right, you feel, say, all right, when you are playing, when you are playing in England right now, the crowd responds to the dancehall music as opposed to the crowd responds to the roots music. When, when they are playing out. They, yeah. they, they are playing hardcore dancehall? Yeah. No. They are not playing like no, Vice no, Cartel and... No, because that is to the younger people thing, you know? Okay, all right. That is so, to the but, younger but people when you are playing there now... You, you when me are play, me play roots rock reggae. Rock reggae, like yeah. Surgab, like how Surgab yeah, play. Yeah, and play right. the protest tune them. Yeah, and, all right. Yeah. So let me ask you now, in England now, you find, say, there's more crowd towards the dancehall music as, a, as, as opposed to where you play as a roots music. Yeah, man. Dancehall thing is a big thing in England. Yeah. Because yeah. the youth, them itch on to the dancehall dance music. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is for them thing. Yeah. Right? When you speak about all its music now, John Holt, mm. Greg Gray, come down, the, the whole set of people who can't do that. Because yeah. it's the foundation of everything, them kind yeah, of music. Yeah, yeah. You understand? So, but so, what happened? The older people now not buying the music. No. It's the younger people, people who the thing must gear to. Well, I don't think the younger people are buying the music either. They download it. Then I don't make sure. All right, so what I ask you now is that you, you, know, you when you keep a session, you know, have no young people in there where gravitate towards. You, you find that the black youth them gravitate towards the roots music, or the white youth them gravitate towards it in England. Yeah, man, we play re root, roots music too, man. You know? No, no. What I ask you if you find say. Is the white youth them come at your dance other than the black youth them? Like the black youth them, you think say the black youth them go at dance hall more than the white youth them and the white youth them come at your session more than how them go at dance hall? Yeah man, you see our Jamaica music we play? Yeah. Plenty black people come support that man. You have some man to play some, some show now called dubstep. No, wait there, wait there, you know, answer what I ask you man. I ask you say, you have some white youth. Yeah. And you have some black youth. The dance and music come from Jamaica and the roots reggae come from Jamaica. May I ask you if when you keep a session. Yeah. You find say you have more white youth in a your session than black youth. No, me not feel that in my dance. You find you that. You have a whole black youth. You find that in a shaka dance and thing. Shaka, Friend, shaka. Yeah. Okay. More, more shaka. white people, more black people. But Go. cox and dancer. Most right, black people mix it, with some white that, people. So why is it that Judge Shaka? Because you have such a like that in Jamaica, you know. You have a yeah. brethren who have played roots reggae right now. Yeah. And it's mostly white people. Even Jamaican whites got film yeah. session. Yeah. Why you feel, say, Judge Shaka draw more white people than Coxon? Because him don't play Jamaica music with he attract Jamaican. Because the white. Jamaican? Jamaican music, but what happened? 
the white people them say them prefer go to him because they Why? don't have no whole heap yard in the dance. When we are play we are yard yeah, everybody yeah, know that. Why why is it that the him would have to draw more white people? Why is because it? Because I show you the white people is more comfortable going which part him the playing the what him what he's playing. So in him not play at the same venue like where you play now? No, no, we play in a different thing, you see. Oh, you play in a different venue? We play in a same venue sometimes, but with different selection. You understand? All right, fa- all right. Give me, a, a, can, me, me have a whole heap of CD with Jashaka. Yeah, Jashaka play dub music. He yeah. have Johnny Clark, all of the artists there. Yeah. But to me, all right, him play John Holt, him play Sugar Miner, him play all of them. What is it that him playing that you would have say? Don't draw the black youth them, but them black youth them go to you. What, what, what is it? Because I see music them, you have play my play. Yes, but you see, man, that structure. With some white people, we run theme thing. Oh, and white people produce theme thing. Theme thing, yeah. Okay, okay. So okay. you find say. I know a manager. A manager was a white, a white this name Nikki. Nikki. So yeah, say, Nikki. Yeah. So them them promote for them thing. Have them emails Different for way. every country. Oh, so okay. People okay, just come okay. at that. But the people them say them prefer to go to that because them no one come in a dance or yeah, 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 yeah. too much rogo rogo. Our dance, our dance, our yard, the people. A rogo 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 rogo. Yeah. <laughs> see what I say? Yeah. <laughs> them can't get the pressure. No. <laughs> they don't know where they go. Just like a fire. <laughs> <laughs> but we used to all them thing there, you know. Yeah. Cause that's how when you a lot of people have them problem, you know. Yeah. And it's by the dance hall, them bring them problem yeah. come. Yeah, and that. Right. We. And we. And then the yeah. next man in them say. This up my reggae dance. Yes, just yeah. to, just to give reggae a bad name all the time. Yeah. You understand? But you know, say, but you know, say, the, the people them who follow the dance is sometimes bring down things for themselves. Well, all kind of people have kind of things with each other, you know? Like Coxon at the studio with me, and we are trying to explore like Coxon and him trading in England musically. You understand? And yes, it, it, it's sweet. Yeah, man. Big up everyone from the cutting edge who listen up, you know? Yeah. I tell me, you have a selector in the morning who pay the wake-up call, you know? Yeah. From the station, yeah. yeah. Me like her very much. She's a bit of fresh air, you know? Oh, she named Lady Renee. Yeah, name. man. Lady, Lady Renee. Renee, yeah. You see how England I listen to her? Me li- yeah, me listen to her out here every she morning she since being in Jamaica. Renee. Yeah, man. And she's a bit of fresh air, you know? Yeah, man. So, I big her up every time, Lady Renee. People tell her that and they will yeah, really love you that. I like the cocks. But I'm under like big up few people, you know? Yeah. Who we'll come back in, you know? Mm. I want to big up Miss Joan Malvo, right? And Mikey Malvo. And Basil the chef. Tashika. Samantha. Hiya Duff from out in the St. Thomas region in the poor man's corner era and thing, you know. So, massive respect to every one of you, you know. Trust me. And we have some pioneer sound man who returned back to Jamaica from England, you know. Mm. So, I say pioneer man who helped the upbringing of the reggae. Mm. You have a Sir Fanso, my brethren, him living in Robins Bay. Mm. He used to have a sound named Sir Fanso, the tropical downbeat. Mm. Bad sound man, you know. Whole heap of music and thing. And you have an ex-sound man in a Portland named Duke Lee in a mansion hill. Duke Lee was a great sound, trust me. Play a lot of Jamaica music. And you have a man living at Red Hills and now named Count Shelley. An ex-pioneer that. Who was a big pan of reggae. Me and him coming in the back with sound. Still, you know. So, <laughs> Tell, where, where, where name? Count Shelley. Okay, him there Jamaica now? Yeah, man, him there, man, you know. All right. Him man there returned back to Jamaica. Yeah. And living in Jamaica, you know. You, you ever see if you come forward? Yeah, yeah. No, you, 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 you ever see if you come forward, come live? Me? Yeah. Yeah, man, me give myself a next two years, man. I want to bring Cox and Big Sound come drop in the same. Ah. Because me not do nothing with it in England, you know. Me no, have to park it in a garage and I run my grip around the world, you know. Yeah, but no, you travel with your grip around the world. So, me want to bring the sound come now, come this You song. said that you bring it? Yeah. Tell me first, you know. Because yeah, I would have like promote the first dance with you. Know, know, but me want to find some poor youth at Jamaica where want a sound to do something, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And set them up. Yeah. Because are the youth, are the youth them time now, you know. Yeah, but it's the youth them are going to play some tune where you don't want to play. Well, so. well, well, them have to take them own destiny, you know. Yeah. Because when me have a selector, my son, I don't tell them how to play, you know. Yeah. And him, the people, them are fling back up on, you know. <laughs> 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 so, him have to play proper. You understand? Well, it's the two them don't know cats, no, yeah, so. <laughs> if, if them play the two them where you don't want to hear, <laughs> them now go back to them. No, no, no. Yeah. But me so know, say, 
Let me put say, you with that stir gav where you used to. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that's my hero, you know? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. still, if me have my sound down here, the you, young youth, them could have got play the young thing too. Yes, yeah, yeah. And if yeah, me yeah. play stereograph, you play, me play yeah. my thing. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the sound them in a Jamaica want brush up, you know. Because, you know, see no cup, no sound I play for cup in a Jamaica and thing. No, them man, have, them have sound, them have sound clash long here, man. Yeah, them have, them have this, this thing, a uh, world sound clash. Mm. But, it's not a musical clash. It's who can cuss the biggest bad word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You see, it's not musically. No. All right. Me I listen to Chinese man in England one time. Yeah. By the crown. Yeah. And the dance are gone. And the biggest forward for the night yeah. is the Chinese man take up the mic and cuss about it. And the world is still down. Because, because they, they, they're fascinated by a Chinese man and cuss about it. Yeah. yeah. You understand? Mm. So, a lot of people still lack in the slave mentality thing, you know. Yeah, and yeah. the colonial thing, them don't move out of it, you know. But um, Jamaican people is fascinated when them see white people are playing reggae. Yeah, them are always they must say, "What? Well, look there, it, it's so nice." You understand? Yeah, yeah. And 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 for them black brother play better music. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? But yeah, it's a mentality thing. Yeah, but that's true. Man. You know, see, even the taxi. You go in a taxi at Jamaica. This a reggae country. People wake up. This is a reggae country. Yeah. You're going to tax, you're going to this, they want to play this little foreign tune them. Tourists, when them come to Jamaica, they want to come yeah, listen but you, to but, reggae. But, but, but you're not, you're not say, you're not say, we should just play pure reggae. No, but okay. to more me. More reggae, more reggae. To me, the government should not tell the radio station them say. No, the are thing, we, no, are no, we, no, man. The we, no, are we from my way from? Yeah. The rest of the station them, RJ and them. The government should have put a quote upon them to them have to pay 60%. Like, yeah, 80% Jamaican. A Jamaican, Jamaican, Jamaican thing on the rest. Yeah. Them do that in other countries still. Them to do it, yeah. yeah, yeah because, yeah. listen, we are play the whole other people things. Mm. And, and play less of our things. Yeah, How is it? Reggae. Reggae, reggae, our thing is a reggae country, you know. Yeah. What do you think tourists come here to do? Yeah, but even me say no, we are the stick up in the bridge, you know. We not really tell them to play it because tourists come here, you know. We are telling no. them to play it because of our thing. Of things. course, it's with national music. Yeah, yeah, it's with yeah. national music, they yeah. must play it. But you see, we do have a place to present the music in its glory. And that's the problem. As you hear me start out the program a while ago. Yeah. Because see, one of the best concerts that we watch for a long while, I look at youth named Chronix, put on a concert in our school auditorium. He couldn't put it nowhere else, but I mean, there's nowhere else. You could have really played the music the right now because none were not there to actually present the music to yeah, the enough. all its glory. So I'm um, to the minister of sport, man. She can't work off something. Well, a sport, she work with them now deal with culture. Them deal with, so you have a minister of culture, you know. But yeah. it's a little, the minister of culture is a little sister where she don't really know nothing about the music as such. You know, she just shall learn from the, the job. Yeah, but, but motor. them not listen. Them not listen. Motor. Yeah. The, the authority treats sound system bad in England, man. They in, treat in, them all bad, too. In, in, a, in a Jamaica, me yeah, talk. Yeah, them bad. Because what, what most of these people in authority must realize, right, that the sound system play a great part in a Jamaica of people's course. life, you know. Yeah, man. Remember, what sound the system... Part? Yeah, sound system was the sole entertainment for 14 Paris of Jamaica, you know. Maybe it's the sound system where all the place no bond long. You see me, I say... <laughs> So um, <laughs> serious thing. the authority, the authority must take us a, a look at sound system yes. and the history because right now you should have a museum, a sound system museum where yeah, you yeah. can go and see Duke Reed picture and yeah, when yeah, you yeah. surround him sound and Sir Cox and Dad and Tom the Great Sebastian, yeah. all them and their party should have a, a and yeah, yeah, have a gallery where you can go and look at them, them yeah. thing. You know, see, yeah, man. Yeah, man. you know. So I need to move up something, man. This is the cutting edge and I refer. Dennis Brown is the phenomenal reggae artist in England. Yeah, man. Dennis Brown, big man. Dennis Brown have its after its, man. In a dance hall in England, man. Great. You know, say so in a Jamaica, uh, come and play out to you, know. Yeah. But you see, believe it or not, Dennis Brown... Get more forward than Bob Marley in a dance hall. Yeah, man, Dennis Brown in a dance hall king. Yeah, when it come out to party and house party and session, old yeah. session, Dennis Brown. Yeah, man, Dennis Brown loved by the people, and him have, him have the music for support that, you know? Yeah. Trust me. So, yeah. him, him ever come featured for your set yet? In a yeah, year? man. When Dennis Brown come England first, mm. 
Mm. It's me and my bridge in Castro Brown bring him to England, you know. Yeah. And him play Christmas Eve night, Christmas night, boxing night, three night. Mm. Ram out a club called Georgia and in the East Criden, a London. You know, yeah. a whole lot of people don't know that um, Castro Brown is, part, is also part of that. Yeah, the man. Reggae Cass- movement, reggae development. Yeah, because Castro Brown run dead music with, with Dennis Brown, you know. Yes. One record label and thing, you know. In England. In England, yeah, yeah man. Successfully, yeah. you know. Yeah. And Castro Brown makes some good tune, too. Yes, so produce a holy party. Yeah, successfully, yeah. you know. But right now, Muta, I'm gonna like big up a few people, you know. Yeah. Before tomorrow, them vexed with me, say, me come all the way from the area for him, I'm gonna big them up, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna big up my sister, Greta, out in the Yellow Sea era there. I'm big up my brother, Fitzroy, right in the Brayton era. And back in the four man's corner now, I'm gonna big up Mikey Malvo and Miss Joan Malvo. Right? I'm Basil the chef. You didn't say that already, you know? Yeah? Yeah, man. And them things there. Already, yeah. And big up them people, you know? Because my rest among them, you know? And yeah. I want to big up Mr. C. You know, the Carol Garden here, right there, you know? Yeah. Big up Mr. C and big up Michael, you know? Yeah. And big up Joe, my driver. Well, come on, you know? No respect, you know? Because Rastafari run the business, you know? Let me ask you a question now. Oh, 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 how much children do I have? I have many children, man. No, I never ask you for me. Ten. I ask you how much. I have <laughs> ten children. Give me a number, man. That doesn't mean. I have ten children. I can't do me. See, I go on now. Man, man, I have all 30 people. Yeah, so you have. Yeah, me have ten, you know, and well, if I grow and thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. And them live in England, with they, eh? Yeah, man. Them live in England. All of the Yeah, man. And them come to Jamaica regular, too. Yeah? Like, yeah. how old is the oldest one? Um, 40 odd. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and them go school in England. Yeah, yeah man, them go school England. and learn the da England man. Me have a chocolate of sound system, and none of them no want it yeah. because them laugh after me. Him said, "Dad, we not going to lift up those heavy box like you." you know? true. <laughs> because <laughs> them in a, them yeah. in a different. different things. You know what I mean? I just want me to ask you a question now. The I go school in England. No, me go school at Jamaica. Me left when me are eighteen. You know. Oh, you left your whole, whole, yeah. Yeah, man, I swim out every river in Jamaica, climb out every tree. Yeah. Do everything, play cricket in a Jamaica. I do everything in a Jamaica for me go to England, man. So, in a them days uh, at 18, when you go to England, what, what, what you do when you reach England at 18? Yeah? Most boring place. So, when, you, 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 you go, you call your family up there, you go there, just... My father, my, my yeah. father and my brother live in England, right? Mm. So, them decide to send for me to come up there. One of the most boring places in my life. Yeah, but, but, but you did it for 40 years at all. Well, you know, you get hooked, you know. All 60 years. I was <laughs> you get hooked. You understand? But although me live in England, me still a walk in a Jamaica, you know. Really? So let me ask you a question <laughs> now. You go to England from 18. Yeah. And you said boring. Boring. Yeah. And you live there now for like 50 years. Yeah, because things change. When me go to England, me, me, me rest with my father. He yeah. sent me back to Jamaica to my mother. Mm. Because I was in England, I had a mango tree to climb. Mm. I had a river to go swim. You know? mm. See the 100 odd mile from me. So mm. all the recreation when me used to as a youth in a Jamaica. Mm. I got gone. School, yeah. gone. gone. Yeah. You just go in a concrete jungle where you have to lock up in your house and look through your window more time. You understand? All right, so at 18, that did <laughs> reach you. When you reach like 30 years old, you still feel the same way? No, because things change. Yeah, like what change? The, m- more like, the, the river never come near. No, my life change. No, and never grow. My life change. I start making little money and settle down. <laughs> and I'm a woman and thing now. And, do that, do that, do that, yeah. Say that. And you start coming now. So you can't yeah. run left the youth them. No, no, you know I run but them. But right now, me I shape up myself. Because they're big enough now for you left them. Yeah, me I shape up myself come live in my country because I travel all around. Yeah. And a country no better than Jamaica. Yeah, me yeah. can't tell you that. Mm. And you have my man in England. I live worse more people in Jamaica. You live. Yeah, well, we know that. You know what I'm saying? Jamaica not the place. So we have said to some of the people in Jamaica, when your son or your daughter are sending the money come give you, you have to say with them because everybody, things get hard. Yeah, right now, England are deal with Europe. Them not deal with we from wrong like Caribbean, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I just European one them I deal with. Yeah. And if you're a non U citizen with them say that me you know on a British passport, you no problem. Someone have to bob and weave to make a living. But I hear something today from a musician that I can't ever believe it to right. Hey. 
But I want, I want to talk to him about it still tomorrow. I want to really talk to him. I hear something about I can't believe that the man them do. Anyway. Me never go. Why? Because the arrangement never right, you know. Like the finance. Who want to carry me there. Yeah. Me know financially, probably I couldn't get no money mm. for come back out there. But that wasn't the case, you understand? Yeah. Um, the arrangement was, was, was them didn't want to carry a team of us. And we move as a team, you understand? Like almost, almost so move five it. people or so, you know? And they never want to carry five? No. Eh? Them all the while, them, them just want to carry two or Which people, country that? You know? Um, even Ghana. Okay. Nigeria. Okay. okay. You know? Okay. And thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, me love them country that still, you know? Yeah. But me nothing say personal, me could have loved them in Jamaica, you know? Yeah. Because at my age, you know, me can go to Africa for go start build something now. Mm. Me have to have money for go buy a big thing and yeah. start live and open up some business where me employ people. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thing. Yeah. Mm. But, yeah, but me love Jamaica. So if you come at Jamaica, you, you have land and thing at Jamaica? Yeah, man, me have a home here, you know. Yeah. Oh, you have a home here, so? Yeah, man, I'm oh. home here from 70 odd, man, at Jamaica. So who man. live in them place? Who live in yeah, that? My family, yeah. them, man. In a Jamaica? Yeah, man, me have a whole of my family, them, at Jamaica, same way, you know. Bread and sister. Oh, you mean your bread and sister? Oh, yeah, I think you mean, all right. Can you say you your, your children, them die in England? Yeah, what? auntie and yeah, uncle yeah, and thing. Then yeah. them take care of me, you tell them come down, man. Okay, the auntie. line at St. Thomas. Yeah, man, we yeah. keep the family thing going, you know, man. All right, all right. We're yeah, not going to have left that, you know, yeah. family thing, you know. Yeah. Time in Jamaica, you know. Yeah, man. There's a lot of work to be done. Oh, gosh, in the promises. Yeah, talking about the promises. To the promised land, the promised land, moving to the promised land. Oh, oh. Yeah, man. Oh, the promised land. Yeah, the promised land. Oh, oh, A group here, yeah. Matumbi. Yeah, man. Make it in England. Yeah, me boss Matumbi too, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we used to when me bring I me bring I right come to England, you know. And there's a group. I right we dead. Yeah, yeah. and a group of yeah. me used to back I right, you know. Well, I want, I want the people them know something that we must not confuse you right with I right. Yeah, I right is a different art. Yeah, I right. Yeah. 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 You ride alive, I ride pathway. Pathway, yeah. yeah. But I ride when we when I bring I ride to to London. Mm. This is a group Matumbi that back, back I ride. In. Okay, yeah, yeah. And what about people? And that was that was them first gig, big gig too. Yeah, most one don't nobody. I will hardly anybody know Matumbi in a, in a Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Them never really bust out in a Jamaica. No, as man. what bust out though. Yeah, yeah, man. As as what a big seller man. Don't look back. Don't look back. Yeah. yeah. And was as what inspired by whalers. Yeah, yeah. And dub fire is where I give you my plate a while ago. Yeah. Dub fire is where influence the rhythm of um the promised land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See yeah. Him, as what I play. Yeah, yeah man. As, as what I play. Yeah. Matumbi.
Alright, so we'll ask you about the family part. Right? When you're there in England, I'm a big man. Mm. What kind of work do I used to do? Me? Outside, I had a sound system when you work with from them time there. Well, me take up the sound system so early, that is it, me work with and produce, produce music, music and yeah. run some, run my own shop, run my own take that away. From what age, from what age you produce music? I produce music from, from coming about 30, 32, yeah. them years, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, the rest of the year, take up with playing sound and yeah. excitement there, you know? And I start yeah. settle down, because really when me produce a tune, you know? Mm. Me just produce it to me, one plate for my sound, you know? <laughs> yeah, you understand? <laughs> <laughs> because, because you want to play tune on next man, no, you know? Have, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. And you know something? All my years cutting tune here in Jamaica. I never one day cut off a dub plate off of my tune and sell a man. Mm. Cause me want, me want, me. You is that run exclusive, my, exclusive. Is that run my business? I have some man I make, where them call, um, dub, dub well, I don't dub plate them call it. Uh, so yeah, some man, yeah, 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 some man I make special, no, you know. And him get all four man is him tune. Yeah. And all him do is call the man, call the man sound in at the tune. But it's not special. But it's not, yeah, that's not special. It's commercial, cause everybody have it. Every, that's not special. And I want to tell you something about special too, you know. Some, most of the special music, them, is a boring thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, me watching a land and four sound clash. And I play special. And by three o'clock, the woman them take up them coat and gone. Them gone a wine bag and drink and dance to, to proper music. You understand? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Special. Three o'clock, the woman them take up them coat and gone. Them gone a wine bag and drink and dance to, to proper music. You understand? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Special to me should have be a song when nobody is not. Can't have. play. Just you alone can yeah, play. Yeah, rather than. Everybody I play the same song, but it just called for them name in the song. Then uh, that some yeah. man do, man. Yeah, yeah. Some man, all the tune them where we boss already. Some man around come them, come look a special half of them. Yeah. When we are cut tune in a Jamaica, we not cut special. No. We cut the tune in advance before it release. Yes. And play it. That is special. Yeah. And play it. And we, and we play 45 with the shop I sell. So that you can listen to it, love it, and go in a shop, go buy it the next morning. Yeah, well, what you I, can go shop, go buy special. No. So it not do nothing to the industry. And uh, one of the things then where, alright, when me used to go to school, I'm a fellow Meritone. Me used to hear Meritone play some tune, we all two years after you just hear it on the radio. Yes, I hear it, yeah. Yeah, you just hear it on the radio. That's yeah. That, that is why I made it love Meritone, you know, because me go to go hear some soul music. Yeah, because Mary Tone well, have nobody the, else not have. Yeah, Mary Tone have the American connection. Yeah, and them around America. Yes, regular so them can have pick certain up. ones with set some music for them and yeah. things. Them can pick have. up certain things, you know. And then them used to scratch out the label because them know why. You know how it's artists are who all me do that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nobody do it. When nobody. me get a reggae tune from Jamaica, you just scratch out the artist. Me scratch yeah. off the name. Yes, because me want you know want a man know. You yeah, understand? Yeah, and thing, and I going to show you something one. <clears throat> One day we play a dance in a bricks and town hall, right? Four big sound, you know. But post office strike. Mm. And no man can't get no tune from John because man always <laughs> send money come around this. A man send money come Orange Street, 100 Orange Street, Caribbean yeah. record to get your 45. Exclusive, yeah. So you know the thing I go revolutionize now with Coxon. Me have a friend that come to Jamaica the Wednesday. And we are playing Saturday night in a bricks and town hall, big dance. And him said to me, say, Coxon, give me the money, man. Me buy the tune them when we reach a Jamaica Thursday and put them on the plane and you get them for Saturday. Mm. Me said something can go like that, man. Him said, yeah, man. I'm giving the money. Thursday night, him called me and buy 36.45 and put it on the plane out of yeah, Kingston. Yeah, yeah. And we go there, sit down and wait for it and get it before the dance. So only we want up tune. Them tune there. <laughs> only we want up tune for nine. And you see from that? Mm. Everybody know the pattern and start doing it. So you, you remember any what any other song they made in other last of thirty six eh? Il Elizabeth and Reggae. Elizabeth um, oh, by Boris Gardner. Yeah, catch the beat, the whole of them tune. That's a clan cycle. Yeah, Toots and the metal do a tune him reggae in the grass and all of them tune them. Only for forty five man. And we get them trouble the night to the forty five them. You understand? Cause me still think say if artists are gonna bust him, I bust off a forty five record, you know. Because the most of Jamaica, good music, come from 45. You understand? Well, 45 now, I make again, still, you know. 
Yeah, but that uh, me I show you. Forty five don't make again. Forty five should that still make in a Jamaica because mm -hmm. it creates employment. You understand? It create the man who make the jacket, the man who have do the label, the little printer and thing. And the man just stop do it. You see. And me have to buy music now we're pressing at Alan and Germany and them place there. Well we have now you see, alright, you see we have to figure it out now. Because for instance, I'm so long as with this computer. Yeah. If you notice, I'm not playing on CD yeah. either. Some people have CD I play much less. So, yeah, but the thing with the thing with this thing, you know, it's a, when you didn't mention the sister a while ago. Yeah. Where you say is you the, the, that is the the beginning of lovers rap music. That's right. Me just click two buttons on my computer and me, me have the tune. Because I mean, they have the tune them like I mean, I put the tune them in the still. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because all them tune that come from record or come from CD. Yeah, but, man, but you can do all the patting with the laptop. The whole of the box them where we used to travel with, with record. Me know. Pressure. That's why your son has said, if now I'm going to do like what you are doing, carry them every load there. Eh? No, because <laughs> even now if, even now when me I take Ryan here, or, or he's a jet or anything for go. Pan, pan the continent. It costs a lot of money for carry the vinyl. Yeah. So most of we carry, we adapt ourselves now for carry CD as well. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, everything have an advantage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything but have you have to go with the modern technology, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because I'm a man, I love modern technology. Of course. Thing, you know? so, so you have, you have, um, Double CD player with yeah man everything like that. Man. Sirat, and all them something. Yeah like man, that, everything, yeah. everything like that. Okay. Man, so, and man. you play it, or you make the youth them play it. Me, me play and, and make youth play as well, man. Okay, you know, okay. you know, see, we share a turntable with good this. Yeah, but you just love your vinyl. Yeah, you yeah, just love your vinyl. Yeah, yeah. me yeah. love vinyl. You know, yeah. me's a vinyl specialist. <laughs> me have a, me have a library. Me have a library of Jamaica music, man. Most every most. LP where you can think of. Every CD that you can think of. I bet you don't have no muta baruka in the kitchen. Me have all you for a long time muta, man. Not talk some muta, man. Don't make it look so bad, man. Shirley, you know, say right, Shirley. The high priest. That man, I really look like a high priest, you know, because when he might perform, you know, him color gone up not here. Yeah, man, me know a right, Shirley. And him lay down for the ground and roll and all them yeah. stuff, you know. But you say all them tune you know, muta. Yeah. Help me play them tune and dance, man. Mash up my sound. Because them know why you don't like them. They don't like them. They don't like them. them Different tune. Now, I wonder if you can make me play a few tune because. Yeah, man, but wait, now, let me ask, let's see, let me ask you something. Why is it them who know I hear Rai Shirley? Look, Rai Shirley, right, is a pioneer in the thing, you know. Yeah. But may I show you, so the thing gear to younger people now. No, no, me not talk about. But people young. that, people that still like hear Rai Shirley. No, no, wait there, wait there, wait there. Remember, you say that it's mostly the older people follow your set. Mm. All right. If it's the most the older people follow your set, why them wouldn't want to hear Rai Shirley? Me not think them would have want to hear me play a tune like that one where you just play. No, not that life. one specifically, but Rai Shirley. Yeah, well, we have to play Rai Shirley because Rai Shirley was a pioneer in the thing. Okay, okay. And we know the same, the bigger Jamaica for every stage show and thing. And even when him died in England, we move with him. We move with him a little bit same way still, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, But yeah. there's certain tune, you know, where you can't go back to. Because even some of them people are wallets. Them of them people are wallets and will go Gregory Isaacs and Dennis Brown and, and John Walt and round that say, you know. Yeah, because you go, them, them, them yeah. the popular in Jamaica. Yeah, if you go deeper like Derek Morgan. No, them play Derek Morgan, man. And, and them. them yeah, play, yeah. Them play them, them man. If you play wallets dance. Yeah. But certain dance now, you have to, you have to have certain dance to play them tune them, man. All right. Yeah, me, me understand what you say. But you see, the, the, the music so versatile yeah, yeah. that the different music can play in a different ways. can play in a different way. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. understand it from another level. Yeah, man. Future, yeah, you man. Know? Co no, all right. Don't get, get, get the engineer then. Yeah. And tell, tell me what to play. Engineer, come in and come engineer for the great. Hey, a history you make, you know, you know. You have play music for... You have play 40, I remember. The man have play music for the great. Cox, light cox, you know. Tell, hey, that put going to your resume, you know. That's for going on your resume. I want you better know that. I want. As a little youth, I play for the great light cocks. You have to go on your resume. All right. So the next, the, the next set of selection them is from cocks themselves. So I'm telling you which one to play. All right. Press the button. Press the button. Hey, cocks. Yeah. More you know, say, in all your, how much time you have played, uh, are the biggest crowd you ever played to, you know? <laughs> <laughs> are the biggest crowd you ever played to, you yeah, know? Yeah, man, give thanks I to that. I guess what, though?
people in Japan, people in Africa, people in Europe, people in the Caribbean, people in England are listening right now, and the biggest crowd you ever play to. Yeah, man, big Trust up me. everyone who are listening, you know. I'm a lady cat, the writer, from the cutting edge with Muta Baroka. Yes, Muta. Yes, Mandingo. Yeah, man, Mandingo, yeah. Yeah, I just want to big up Joe Park, original dance hall promoter in Britain. Yeah. Promote dances with Lady Cox the sound and many other songs. This All is right. Jamaica the right now to in Portland. Yeah, and I want to say this straight. The reason why UB40 has gotten a lot of promotion over and above the original African Jamaican reggae artist is because of racism in the British radio, newspaper, and the rest of the British media. Yeah. Because they do deliberately do not play the music of the original yeah, African reggae Jamaican artists. reggae artist. They, right. they, it's a cultural, cultural racist thing yeah. where they always get in their own Europeans to come and copy, come and copy our yeah. original yeah. rather than our own people. So. You have UB40 doing over 10 boot songs. Yeah. Lord creator songs and so on. Since Tony and all the man. You yeah. used to play the original, original one. African artist. So I do respect. And UB40 Ali Campbell is because he's a European that is getting that profile to the rest of them. Because yeah. UB40 can play and sing already for I Man Dingo. Yeah. Who is an African from Jamaica. Well, Virgin, he played for millions of people out there and make millions of dollars. Yeah. No, he promoted and sold among the Europeans. No, me never say no, me never say no, but me I tell you, say he make millions from it. I know, I know that Muta, but yeah. I'm giving the reason why this is so. Yeah. It is yeah, real. No, me I understand it so, but I'm right. Yeah. yeah. See, All right, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to Katzen. Hold on, let me just say this. Yo, Katzen have played some music. Katzen have played some music here, you know. He might play the music, you know. I don't yeah, think he might have cut out for the know, music, then. Because the program's so done. Yeah, man, big up yourself, man, Dingo. Yeah, man. We just have to tell you, natural ice comes from Nottingham, England. Yeah. See? All right. Natural ice. Yeah, man, I'm big up Joe Parks in the Portland area there, too, you know. Yeah. Big up myself, Joe P, you know, every time, you know. All right. Yeah. So I carry on the program seeing me, right? Hey, listen to selections by the man called Light Cox out of England. First time in a Jamaica, first time I played music for the people them. But it's not only in a Jamaica I listen, you know. It's all the people them who used to play for in a England, plus the people them who never play for in a Africa, plus the people them who play for in a Europe and Jamaica. Light Cox. Yeah man, big up the world, you know, who are listening to cutting edge, you know, worldwide. Right or so. Why you Why up Neil, the engineer and the the CD selector for Light Cox and Soul System in Jamaica? <laughs> hey, the tricks. The biggest soul system in a, in a, in a England. So the man that won it, Light Cox. And Neil did a Neil did a turn the table for you, know. So, you know, say so you can't get work with that now. If you go to England, you get a work right away, you know. Tell them, say, well, you're there, Jamaica, you have to lick for you. I want to big up my little sister in here, so, your money will stay with me. The first, I want to big up my little sister in here, so, your money will stay with me. The first, She's here with me till two o'clock. <laughs> you know what I'm here? You know what nobody here? Uh, you, know, you know what nobody here? Them here. And I hope, and I hope the people them who support the ear, ear. We give thanks to money for set me up here so now, right now. You know them way there? We love that. And I also we love Neil. And we are continuing the journey a little more from this from two to five, four to five. Like Cox Moan said, give thanks again for coming through. Whatever you love your bridge, you know. Hey. Give you the bridge and attack, you know. Go, you go inside the bridge. Oh, you mean? Yeah, man, give a talk. Whatever I realize, say. Whatever I have to give no talk, you know. Believe you, me. Yeah, so you're never alive, ready? Yeah, man, you're never ready. Yo, man. big up. What are you big up my family? Ashton, Nathan. No, but you have to tell them who oh, are big up them up. I'm just a sweet man. They don't know that, you know. Yeah, all right. All right. Respect Muta. Big up Weasel, family. 
Keith, I speak Bema Paul, and enough man out there, don't forget the great candy man coming to that list right now to Mr. C and Lady Cox. So C and Driver, uh, I will arrest and You don't know, yeah, Cox is here, and we're going to put on a big show in Jamaica. So all the man who want to come link up with Cox, I want to think them can lick down Cox. Line up on the cell phone, come come there. I ready for the motor the bomb board with me. Yeah. You don't know how I'm going on. Alright, sir. Alright, all all right, you right, can't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, you well, don't know. We're going to go out with one tune here, so now. Um, oh, we have three minutes. <laughs> we have three minutes. I have five minutes you have left, too. I want to be Arab. What happened? I feel. I want to be I feel ready for you, so. I tell you the man look like, hey, when we see the man coming out, you know, I'm afraid, you know. You know, so the man look like, like, like if, if, if you remember, go to the airport of America, you see? The mounts are profiling. You have a year. Him get. The mounts are profiling where him would have get and go to the airport. <laughs> 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 I tell you. 